What is going on guys? It's Argon657 here. Today I bring you another Pokemon Ultra Sun Ultra Moon Wi-Fi battle. This one's actually going to be against a fellow YouTuber Hayden. His channel's in the description below. So uh, we battled on uh, Twitter and all that. So that's where he gets his battles. So um, yeah, so it was a pretty good battle. And uh, yeah, it actually came down to the wire. I'm not going to lie. Um, taking a look at the team, he has... Um, a lot of threatening Pokemon, especially the Scarf Typhlosion. I'm pretty sure Typhlosion is Scarfed. Or he could be Specs Typhlosion, it depends. And have a Scarf Rotom. Um, but I know that the Sneasel is likely Choice Banded. And then the uh, Drudagon's probably Rocky Helmet or something like that. And then Ambry Palm, I think it's Life Orb. Um, but I do have a uh, Scarf Primate because, as you know, every Primate is Choice Scarf in the NU tier. I have yet to see a uh, primate that is not Choice Scarf, so um, I do have the Rocky Helmet Garbodor for the Ambry Palm that wants to go for Tail Slaps, so that way I can punish it with Rocky Helmet and all that. So, and I also have the uh, Peloswine, uh, which is very bulky though. So um, I do have the Zangus, which is supposed to be a late game sweeper, but it really depends. Uh, because it's gonna be really hard to uh, uh, pull off a sweep against uh, this kind of team because uh, one he could easily stop uh, me from uh, setting up on him uh, with one of his Pokemon I think like Typhlosion or Venusaur maybe Venusaur um, I don't know but I do have the uh, Whimsicott with Memento though just to ensure that happens and then I have Zatu to bounce back the uh, Hazards, that's like my only form of hazard control. I actually do not have a defogger on this team So that's probably the downside of this team is that I do not have a defogger so uh, Anyways, it's enough with the rambling. Let's get this battle started. So I'm going to lead off with my scarf primate and um, Hayden's gonna lead off with his um, Ambipon now we're both leaning off with uh, monkeys pretty much so um, Yeah, so facepalm um, it's gonna come out and also Ambipom did rise to UU so this battle did take place before uh, Ambipom moved up to UU because uh, I did see uh, Poke Aim use Ambipom so much that it actually rose to uh, UU so um, yeah so I'm pretty sure it's gonna drop back down to uh, NU soon so because um, it isn't really too good in NU um, it's actually terrible in, in uh, UU actually I mean, I'm trying to say it's not too good in UU. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, yeah, so um, I'm predicting him to go uh, into uh, for the fake out. So I go to my Paloswine to take it, and then I'm gonna switch to my Garboder to see uh, what move he's gonna go for. He's gonna go to his uh, Rotom after he goes for the U-Train. He's gonna get some Rocky Helmet damage, and I'm gonna go to my Zangoose just in case he goes for the trick because i've seen rotoms with trick before and i was actually predicting him to go for the trick to trick me the choice scarf so that way i could set up a free belly drum and then i could just sweep the rest of his team so that's basically my game plan was to um set up belly drum with my zangus uh go for memento with my um Wimsicott, and then sweep so uh, well, actually go for uh, Memento with Whimsicott, and then set up Belly Drum and then Sweep. But now they um, burned, that's not going to happen. So I'm going to go for the knockoff. Um, and I'm going to switch out. I'm going to go back into my uh, Peloswine. Uh, expecting him to want to go for his Rocks or something like that. But he's going to make a double switch. And he's going to go into his Rotom. And now I have to switch out because I do want to preserve this Peloswine for the... Um, for later i do want to keep it as healthy as possible so i'm going to go into my um zangus again and he's going to go for the will-o-wisp again so trying to burn my uh palace wine and um i'm actually going to go for the z belly drum because um i really lose nothing going for it um so yeah um he's now going to go back into his dragon and I'm going to go for the Z Belly Drum, and because I'm burned, um, I'm realistically going to be at a plus 2 attack as opposed to plus 6. Because if you're burned, you actually get your attack cut in half, obviously. So, uh, so essentially I'm at plus 2 attack, so plus 2 attack is not going to really do much to a bulky uh, Dredagon. 
Um, I'm gonna go for the, uh, knockoff again, just in case he goes into his Rotom. Um, just so I can get rid of the, uh, leftover- not, no, not leftovers, uh, whatever item he's holding. But, uh, he's gonna go for the Dragon Tail and just finish me off. So, uh, I do get, a, uh, some good chip damage, and then I'm gonna go into my Palace Wine. And I'm just gonna set up the rocks, because I really lose nothing going for it. If he wants to stay in, that's completely fine with me. I don't really care if he sets up his rocks. I could have went for the Ice School Crash, but I just felt like Stealth Rocks is probably more important. Because, uh, you never know when that, uh, that extra chip damage from Stealth Rocks may be enough to... It, it could make a difference between one hit KO and some, something, and, uh, two hit KO and something. So I'm gonna go for the Earthquake. I was actually predicting him to go into his Typhlosion to take the Ice School Crash. Uh, I wasn't actually expecting him to go into his Venusaur. I wasn't really expecting the Venusaur switch in. I mean, if I went for the Ice School Crash, the Venusaur would have taken a, a crap ton of, uh, damage. Uh, being super effective and everything. So I'm gonna go to my Zatu, and he's gonna go for the Giga Drain. Uh, expecting me to, uh, I guess expecting me to stay in. But, uh, of course I switch out. So, um... Okay, so, um, my Zatu is literally my only counter to this Venusaur, uh, with the Sleep Powder. And I'm just gonna go for the U-turn, uh, expecting him to switch out, because I'm pretty sure he's not gonna want to stay in on a Zatu, so I'm gonna go for the U-turn, and, um, U-turn's gonna do a decent amount, actually, to that Sneasel, so now I don't have to worry about getting Pursuit Trapped or anything. So, um, I'm gonna go to my Primate, which is Choice Scarf. Yeah, he has the, uh, Ice Shard, but I could still knock him out with the U-turn, so it's not a big deal. Uh, but he's gonna go to his, um, Dredagon over here, and I'm just gonna go for the U-turn, uh, because I wanna get some, uh, Pivot, uh, going on some uh, switch advantage, so uh, I do get hurt with the rough skin, so that's fine. Rough skin is gonna hurt primate, um, but I'm gonna go into my palace wine and just go for the ice shard. Uh, I could have went for the ice school crash, but I really don't want it to miss. So uh, wait a minute, I do go for the ice school crash. Never mind, because um, I had this battle I think about a week ago or two, and I don't really remember what happened. Uh, I mean, I do remember a uh, majority of the battle, but uh, it's been a while ago, so... Uh, but he's gonna go to his Venusaur, and I'm not going to stand on a Venusaur. Yeah, he can... I can hit him with the Ice Sword Crash, but Giga Drain's just gonna replenish uh, all his lost HP. So I'm just gonna go to my Garboder, uh, my Shiny Garboder, um, and he's gonna go for the Giga Drain. And, um... I just wanted to see what move he was going to lock himself into. Also, in case he went for the Sleep Powder, I would have a Sleep Powder. Because Garbodor literally does nothing in this battle. So I could use it as a Sleep Powder and a Death Powder. So I'm actually going to switch out, expecting the Sleep Powder. Because uh, I want to see uh, if he wants to go for the Sleep Powder or not. But um, he does go for it. And I'm going to go uh, for the Roost, expecting the Sneasel switch in. Because, um, Sneasel can just Pursuit Trap me if I don't. So I'm just gonna go for the Roost over here. But he actually stays in. So that's actually a good play on his part. Um, staying in like that. Because I could've went for the, uh, Psychic and just knocked him out. But he's gonna go for a Sludge Bomb. And it looks like he has some special attack investment. I could tell. Because that Sludge Bomb did a decent amount to my Zatu. So I'm just gonna go for the Psychic. Uh, tries to, uh, try to get some, uh, damage off, and it's gonna do a lot of damage to this Venusaur. And he's gonna finish me off with the, um, Sludge Bomb, but that's not a big deal because I do have the, uh, Pedal Swine in the back, and I could just Revenge Kill with the Ice Shard. Now he's in range where I can go for the Ice Shard and knock him out, so, uh, that's pretty good. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go for that Ice Shard because I don't want to, uh, take the Giga Drain or anything like that. If I went for the, for the Ice Cube Crash, he would have probably knocked me out with the Giga Drain, so... Uh, Venusaur, I uh, need to go, so... Um... He's gonna go to his Ambipom, and I do have a good switch in, which is my Garboder, because of the Rocky Helmet. And, uh, I don't know what item he's holding. He's probably, uh... He could be Zemu's, uh, Ambipom. I'm not sure. But, um... 
yeah, he's gonna go for the fake out, and uh, it's gonna do a decent amount considering that I'm defensive. So I'm gonna be able to hit him up with the Rocky Helmet, and he's gonna go for that return and just knock out my Garboder. However, I'm going to punish him with the Aftermath plus Rocky Helmet damage. So now he's in range where I could just come in with either my Primate or my Palo Swine and, and take him out. But I decided to go to my Primate because I do need the Palo Swine to be as uh, healthy as possible. Uh, to be able to take on the rest of his pokes. So I'm going to go for the U-turn and knock out the Ambipom. And uh, yeah, that's a dead Ambipom. So um, I'm going to go into my Paloswine now. Uh, because now uh, Paloswine can sort of take a hit from uh, all three of his members. Except for the Typhlosion. So um, he's going to go into his uh, Rotom. And I'm going to go for the Ice School Crash. Uh, because I'm banking on the fact that I live the Shadow Ball, and I do live, uh, with 15 HP, and he's actually Life Orb, so that's pretty good. So I'm gonna go for the Ice School Crash, and, uh, it's actually gonna do a lot of damage to this Rotom. I think I'm Adamant Nature. No, wait, I think I'm Impish Nature, never mind. But, uh, I'm gonna go for the Ice Shard and knock him out. Now, uh, this is kind of, I think this was a, a roll, a damage roll, because he's going to go to his Sneasel. I'm thinking I could just sack my uh, Pellet Swine over here and just go for the uh, Primeape and go for the U-Turn. But, uh, yeah, he's going to go for the Ice Shard, and I somehow live with 3 HP. Um, Pellet Swine is very bulky. I, uh, I was not expecting uh, Pellet Swine to survive an Ice, ice Shard. Um, uh, yeah, so... Uh, I wasn't expecting him to live, uh, to live an Ice Shard. Uh, yeah, I do have the Thick Fat, but, uh, again, Sneasel is Choice Banded. It really should have knocked out my, uh, uh, Pellow Swine from there, but it didn't. And it was actually pretty huge, too, because now I'm able to get some chip damage onto that Typhlosion, uh, before he knocks me out with the Flamethrower, so. Um, I'm gonna go into my, um... Whimsicott, and I'm going to go for the Memento. So, uh, the reason why I went for Memento is just so that way I can guarantee live a flamethrower from this Typhlosion, because if I didn't have the Memento, I would have been knocked out right away. So, um, he's going to go for the flamethrower, because he's locked into it, because he's Choice Scarfed. And I'm going to go to my own Choice Scarf, which is my Priming. And I'm thinking, I could take a Flamethrower, and then I could just finish him off with the Earthquake. But no, I actually outspeed him, so it, it actually turns out he's Modest Scarf, not Timid Scarf. Uh, my Primeape is Jolly Scarf, so um, I do have the plus speed nature. So because of that, I was able to outspeed the uh, Typhlosion um, because of my nature. So it ends up being a 1-0 victory in my favor. So that was actually a pretty close battle. It was very good. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, be sure to check out Hayden. He also uploads pretty good battles. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Um, I do watch his channel uh, as well. So I do watch his video. So. Um, yeah. So anyways. Um, if you guys enjoyed. Please be sure to leave a comment below. Content up to crush that like button. And subscribe to my channel. As it helps my channel grow and stuff. And also if you want to join my Discord server. It's also down in the description below. So uh, yeah that's where I usually take battles and stuff like that. However I haven't really been active on my Discord uh, lately. Because of school and stuff. And also I haven't really been uploading a lot of battles lately. So um, the reason being is because I have school. And you know I have, I have a lot of school work to do. And um, I... Just, I don't really have a lot of time to uh, find a, uh, to do a recording. So, apparently, I, uh, this was actually the only time I was able to record a battle, so. Uh, anyways, I will see you guys later.